You're very welcome back to the show now. One major industry that has been hit during the COVID pandemic is travel and tourism. Now, this month, however, some European countries reopened their borders and many airlines are beginning to release their future schedules. So what will our future travel experience look like? Well, I'm joined now by Mary McKenna, founder of Tour America and Cruise Holidays, to tell us her predictions. Well, welcome to the show, Mary. What else can you say? It's been an absolute disaster and there's no other way of putting it. Yeah, I know. It has been a really, really tough time for the travel industry, no doubt about it. In particular for the airlines, in particular for the cruise companies, they're just bleeding lots of cash at the moment. But for us in the travel industry, I think I have to look over stages, probably three stages. So, for example, when Donald Trump closed the States, um, we had to go and work around the clock and bring all our passengers, thousands of passengers home. So we had to contact them all and say, look, I'm really sorry, you just got there. We have to get you home. So we had to work around the clock. And then we had to close our offices on the 18th of March and kind of close and say, we don't know when we're opening. But not like any other business, because if you're a coffee shop, you could close up and, uh, and then reopen. Yeah. But we had thousands of customers to take care of um, so we had to work really hard and uh, so we had we, we couldn't stop we had to keep working on existing bookings that we had taken in months ago and I think Elaine we've done a very good job on that and I think the industry the travel trade and travel agents and tour operators have been there for their customers. I have been feeling so sorry for the amount of the travel agents and you know what they're getting a lot of abuse on the phones over refunds and changing dates and all that sort of stuff and I suppose you can understand that people are frustrated, but the, the, in the industry, you're frustrated too. Yes, exactly. Well, I'm very glad to say we've done about 70% of refunds. So yeah. where we've got the money back in, we've, we've given the refund. And I actually do sympathise for customers. It is hard. And, uh, you know, there are some cruise companies who still haven't given refunds. They're saying 120 days. So um, there's a fine line. But what actually, and I, I really want to make this point, it is so important when someone's booked with a licensed and bonded travel, travel agent, agent or tour operator yeah. because their money is financially protected. So even as a business, Tour American Cruise Holidays, what we've done is saying, OK, we haven't got the refund and we will give full refunds mm -hmm. once we get it in, is that we have now given a credit note. So it's like a, a reassurance to you saying, look, this might take a few weeks, this might take uh, another month or two, but you have a, a licensed and bonded voucher that is fully protected. So that's great. And that's the airlines can't give that. Our cruise companies can't yeah. give that. We are giving that. Um, but look, um, you know, the most important thing is that you're there for your customer. What we did is we actually set up two companies, Zoom Holidays and ZoomTravel.ie. Um, oh, we're all we, fans of the Zoom now these days. <laughs> between the quizzes and you know, God knows I didn't even else. know what Zoom was. Neither did I. I don't think any of us did. Um, so we're able to do face-to-face -face, um, calls with our customers. And really what the most important thing is that is that somebody can talk to someone about their holiday or say, what's happening? What's it going to be like? Look, I don't really want to go this year. Can I change to next year? And that's what travel agents are doing. And that's what we're doing very well um, yeah. is being there for the customer. And I, like if you had let's say booked to go on your holidays to Florida directly with the airline and directly with the hotel you're up the creek without a paddle now. You probably wouldn't have been able to get through to yeah. the airline and uh, you know or if you had booked with a UK company like a lot of people yeah. don't really understand the importance of staying local yeah. booking with a local travel company booking with a local uh, shop or, or you know yeah. in your town I mean I've heard horror stories about some UK companies that just kind of come in throw their product in Ireland yeah can't get through to them yeah. so really look for the Irish owned company and Elaine it's so important like we'll get through this it's horrendous times for everyone that people come back and and stand behind Irish companies uh, Irish everything really yes. at the moment because yeah. I mean we're all in for a fairly bumpy ride in the yeah. future but um but like holidays I, I'm missing going on holidays like everybody else I mean I had my May I'd been waiting for ages my May was going to be a month of fun obviously that didn't happen but if you're going to book now some people are taking risks and maybe booking for the end of the summer realistically mm -hmm. speaking you have decades of experience in this business yeah. if it were you when would you think it would safe, be safe to book <laughs> Okay, it's a great question, Elaine. And, and I'm 25 I mean, everyone, years. Everyone wants to say in two months' time, <laughs> yeah. it could be great. But, but look, know. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go to Dublin Airport on the 4th of July. I want to see what it's like for myself. Um, I personally uh, would look at later in the year, I would look at Christmas time. I think hotels, resorts will have everything in order. Um, and I'm really saying to customers even to look at 2021. And mm. we're getting great interest in 2021. So you want everything to be right. Mm. Um, you know, and I can talk about the state 
debates, you know, it's still not 100% over there. So hopefully we have a new president at some stage. So there's a lot of things <laughs> we need to sort out. Um, and so I would think uh, safety is the most important thing. This virus hasn't gone away, but everybody needs a holiday. So, you know, on the 4th of July, I will report back from Dublin Airport what's it going to be like. Uh, flying is the safest uh, safest way to get to anywhere. And even the, the way they take care of the air on board, it's yeah. refiltered. So it is safe in that terms, but it's just the logistics. Um, but realistically, I would be looking maybe September, October, definitely Christmas. And if you're any way nervous, just look at 2021 because we should have everything sorted out. But then. 2021 early anyway, the early months of 2021 seem to be booking out fairly lively already. Well, look, what's happened is a lot of people have moved their holidays to By 2021. So flights come out 11 months beforehand. Um, so with their lingus. So it's very important, for example, if you're traveling in June next year, those flights will come out in July. So you've got to get in and book there because a lot of people have switched their uh, their flights to next year. Yeah. So there's going to be limited availability. And the airlines are under a lot of pressure at the moment and they're struggling financially. So they won't, mightn't have the same amount of uh, flights. And we're looking at like a catastrophic amount of job losses in the industry as yes, well, which yes. is a very, 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 very sad for so many people and so many families. How about your own business? I mean, will you be able to, to, to keep going? I mean, I know when the 9-11 the happened, yeah. it, it impacted you pretty badly, but you bounced back. How, how do you think it will be now? I, I just kind of look over 25 years, starting a business from my sitting room yes. with no money and growing a wonderful brand that I'm very proud of, a brand that represents trust. I have great people working with me. And what I've experienced over 25 years is nothing is a straight line business goes up and down mm -hmm. so it's about resilience and agility and change and uh, you know September the 11th I lost my business overnight and that's how we started cruise holidays and then we started cruise holidays and a cruise ship sank and we had ash cloud but Elaine I've never seen anything no. like this and I'm very happy to say we have a really good company it's it hasn't been run as a lifestyle it's a business so we'll get through it we'll, we'll have to have some cuts just like any other business and um, but we'll be there for the future and what we're doing is all the right things talking to our customers giving back the refunds uh, putting pressure on uh, cruise companies and airlines. Some airlines haven't given back refunds to make sure our customers get what they deserve. So all we're asking is please be there and remember we're an Irish business and we really need the support. And be patient as well, I suppose, because like legally, do they have, I mean, you, you will have to, any licensed travel agent and bonded will have to refund anything or is, is that the way it works they have to refund or replace or so re legally every customer if if their holiday has been cancelled is entitled to a cancelled, full refund that's it that's your holiday is cancelled full refund full end refund. of story it's just the process so there's an uh, the law was the eu 261 law but it isn't fit for purpose it wasn't set for this time so you have uh you know you've, you've heard michael o'leary and you've heard erlingus the process is taking longer because they don't have the people to process these refunds so it's just about if a client has booked with a licensed and bonded travel company uh, they will get a full refund it might be a few weeks it might be a few months and if they have a travel voucher they've been given a travel voucher that is a legal document that they will get their money yeah what about deposits if you put a deposit on a holiday and that holiday is maybe not until October and you're not comfortable paying yeah. the full amount now where where does it lie there well really you probably will lose your deposit because that's your choice, choice. if the if the holiday is cancelled then you will get a full refund so what i would say if you want some advice from me is talk to who you booked your holiday with ask them can they move the deposit to next year and i think a lot of companies are very good at doing that so just speak to the company you've booked with and ask them to move um you know i don't know if i you can't see yeah. into the future so you don't know if a flight's going to be cancelled but look Aer Lingus are operating flights to boston right now at the moment yeah. and certain destinations and and you can't get into that country so and they're not giving back the money which is actually wrong yeah um and and so again, you can go to your travel insurance as well. But again, you know, you need to make sure you've you've taken your insurance before March because they changed the COVID yeah, on your travel insurance. They did, of course. So yeah. if you're getting it out now, even forget about it. If you were lucky enough to have the annual renewable that I forgot yes. to do, you're in trouble. <laughs> you forgot to do it. I forgot to do it. Yeah, I've never clicked the renew <laughs> button. But and that was it. Yeah. But I think a lot of people are concerned because they're getting letters and demands for the, their travel agencies going. Uh, we need the full amount, or else you lose your holiday. And yeah. they don't want to pay the full amount, and they're worried. Yeah. So I would say, like, you know, if you're a customer of ours, yeah. talk to us. 
yeah. and move it forward. Um, and I think most uh, companies uh, are doing that. If you booked with a UK company, I don't even think you can get through to them. Yeah. So, you know, but there are a lot of good travel companies out there yeah. doing the right thing. And I know because I'm sitting on the advisory yeah. panel for the ITA that they really do care about the customer. I think people forget about travel agencies in general because um, so many people for so many years, I suppose with cheap flights, they were booking their flights and booking their hotels and forgetting it can all be packaged neatly and safely. I mean, I have one Instagrammer who will remain nameless. Yeah. Um, <laughs> actually, said, God, wouldn't it be a great idea if there was a company that would actually get your flights and get your hotel and get your transfers to and from the airports all in one? She'd never even heard of travel agents. That's how... How, how how people were using them less and less but I think something like this you do have that reassurance of safety of which sa people and, and need most importantly that you're getting the yeah. same price like or even yeah. a better price because for us we contract with the hotels directly we have special net fares with the airlines yeah. so we're able to give a really good price we have an office in Orlando and it's only when something goes wrong that you realise how important it is to book with the right company yeah. um, and that's there's, there's an awful lot of people now that have actually uh, learned the me that lesson yeah. the hard way unfortunately yeah. and Mary listen thank you so much for joining thank us you, on Lee. the show today and, and touch wood all our, our travel will be back and safe in the future and then nearer rather than later, maybe by next year. But like, well, everybody loves a holiday. Everybody, everybody. I think at this stage, everybody needs a holiday. It's not in their back garden at this stage. Actually.